The Philippines, located in Southeast Asia, is a captivating tropical country with many islands and a large Filipino population. Its diverse landscapes ranging from urban to rural and its beautiful beaches attract tourists worldwide, drawn to its safety and stunning islands. Despite being colonized by the Spanish for over 300 years, the Philippines maintains a rich culture. Ancient traditions persist with tribes preserving their culture, clothing, and coexisting with modernity. Within this beauty and cultural wealth, the Philippines holds various mysteries that have intrigued scientists. These mysteries, often unknown to many, continue to puzzle scientists today. UFO Sightings Recently this January 2023, there was a report glitch in Ninoy Aquino International Airport that cancelled and delayed some flight. This case also happens similarly when a reported UFO sighting in Pangasinan also caused some glitches in some tower systems and rerouted, delayed, or even cancelled some flights. As to whether this glitch is just anomalies with the weather, or was there really an unidentified flying object circling around the atmosphere of the Philippines? On September 3rd, 2000, a man in his Las Pinas village noticed small balls of light dancing in the evening sky. He grabbed his handy camera to film a 40-minute video of the phenomenon, which he claimed was seen by his barangay neighbors. Scientists from the United Nations had investigated the case, inspecting his very house. Both the UN and Philippine scientists were puzzled. Around that same time, air traffic controllers at the Nino Aquino International Airport have also disclosed that they do see red balls of light on the regular as well as during the night that the famous UFO reports were made. However, they didn't see anything significant, since there are too many things that can be seen in the evening sky. In the same city, four years later, three children noticed reddish glares moving above the skies. One of them, an 11-year-old kid, was coincidentally with friends, the son of the man who witnessed the UFOs back in 2000. The son called his dad, who then rushed to film yet another video. According to him, there were at least five UFOs, all moving erratically in the space of eight minutes. On April 26, 2015, many have noticed something odd in the sky. Eyewitnesses saw so-called dancing lights, found in the Lubao Pampanga Diversion Road, which form into a V-shape. The lights increase in its amount and started to flicker until it completely disappeared. On February 2019, residents in Negros Occidental spotted a mysterious bright yellow object in the skies. On random days, the lights would reappear, much to people's confusion. At one point, the cloudy skies have made it impossible to see until they never caught sight of it again. After Pagasa investigated the case, they concluded that it wasn't an airplane or a star. Instead, it could have been a satellite of the International Space Station that was launched into orbit back in 1998. Metal Eating Plant In 2014, one of the weirdest and possibly most useful plants in the world was discovered in the Philippines. The plant can absorb nickel without being poisoned. The plant's ultra-rare ability to eat toxic nickel and other minerals could be used in cleaning up polluted soil, especially in areas where nickel is mined. It could be possible to just harvest the plants instead of digging the earth to extract minerals. Sadly, the metal-eating plant is facing the threat of extinction. Polynao skull. The formidable Polynao skull is only one of 67 skulls recovered from the Palingasai archaeological site in Polinao, Pangasinan. They were found along with several early Ming dynasty ceramics. The skulls have teeth decorated with gold ornaments, symbolizing wealth and bravery during the prehistoric era. The Polinao skull stands out because gold scales were observed. The gold decorations have flat rounded tops in a bored hole on the teeth. These gold ornaments overlap one another, making them look like fish scales. The Rumbalan Triangle The Rumbalan Triangle is the Philippines' very own Bermuda Triangle. The three islands that made a triangle point were Rumbalan, Cebuan Islands, and Tablas Islands. 
Many ships have perished in these waters and have taken thousands of lives. As to why these things happen, no one knows and some scientists are scared to even just study the waters of that point. The most tragic shipwreck that has ever occurred in these waters was the shipwreck of the passenger ships. These ships carry thousands of people who travel by sea. The twin cross inside a tree trunk. It said back in the 20th century, a boy was cutting a tree trunk back in Modesto. When he cut the tree trunk, it shows a cross on both sides of the trunk. Many explanations claim that these are dues from the tree trunk and eventually made a shape while inside in the middle. But some claim that it's a holy relic and must be preserved. The mystery of why it happens near a church is simply amazing. The trumpet sound from the skies. On June 2015, a local of Batanga City recorded an eerie sound that came from the sky. He was certain that it came from the sky because the man was living in a rural place and there was nothing but trees and birds. What's more mysterious is the sound sounded like a trumpet. The trumpet sound was all you can hear in the surroundings at that time and the birds were also behaving strangely. Some say it was a sign that Judgment Day is near and some say it's just another mystery. Jill Perez's teleportation. The mysterious case of Jill Perez, the soldier who was said teleported from Manila to Mexico, was unbelievably written in historical records. But up until now, no one confirmed if this really happened. During the 16th century, Perez was a Spaniard guard posted in Manila, Philippines. While guarding his post, Jill suddenly felt dizzy and decided to lean against the wall to rest. After he dozed off for a few seconds, he opened his eyes and was shocked to see a different place. When he asked a person on the streets on where he is, they told him he is in Plaza Mayor, now Zocala in Mexico. The Yamashita Treasure The Yamashita's treasure is one of the most famous mysteries in the Philippines. It's the tale told by every grandfather and grandmother during the time and piqued the curiosity of many people not just Filipinos, but people all around the world, especially treasure hunters. During World War II, the Imperial Japanese was known as a notorious force that conquers islands and land. Imperial Japanese General Yamashita was called the Tiger of Malaya because it's said that he conquered Malaya, now Malaysia, from the British in just 70 days. There are claims that the general had made many underground bunkers and buried his treasures and gold in the lands of the Philippines. These treasures are looted from the countries the forces have been to. But why the Philippines? Because in 1944, General Yamashita was the general of the Imperial Japanese forces in the Philippines. Many claim that the treasure was just an old fairy tale that's believed by the treasure hunters. But in 1988, there was a complex lawsuit filed at the Hawaiian State Court involving a Filipino treasure hunter named Rogelio Rojas and the president of the Philippines at that time, Marcos. The case was about how Rojas found the Golden Buddha after being told by many Japanese or Filipino who have lived or have descendants from the war, told him about the possible locations of the treasures. The dispute was won by Rojas and the Marcuses failed to obtain the Golden Buddha, the lost island of San Juan. San Juan, an island to the northeast of Mindanao, was recorded in maps from 16th to 18th century. It was in a map designed by Murillo Villarde in 1734 that San Juan quite literally vanished from the map. A range of theories was developed to explain the apparent disappearance of the island similar to the lost city of Atlantis to a mere human mistake by cartographers. San Juan was an island that was seemingly lost to history until a board game came along followed by a more accurate depictions of the Mindanao Islands. The mystery of Mount Mayon, the mythological story of how the perfectly cone shape of Mount Mayon volcano was made is beyond beautiful and tragic. The story starts with two main people who are set responsible for the creation of Mayon Volcano. Magayon, the beautiful maiden and the tribe's princess, and Panganoran, a brave young warrior. 
Their love was hindered by Makasog, the tribe's chief, and Magayon's father. Throughout the disapproval, the couple decided to elope and continue their love further. But the tribesmen and chief chased the two lovers. Mayon was said to be struck by a poison arrow first and died in the arms of Panganaran. It said that Panganaran just accepted his death and the two died in each other's arms. Following with guilt, Makasog buried the two lovers together to have them not separated in the afterlife. And after some time on their burial ground, the perfectly shaped volcano was erected as a sign of their beautiful but tragic love. The story was just a myth, not until a mysterious smoke formation of the Mayon volcano was seen back in 2018. Maksaisai plane crash. Authorities have ruled out foul play, but how did President Maksaisai plummet to his death on the side of Mount Mananangal after a visit in Cebu? Was it technical error, or could the packs of mangoes he carried on the plane? Miracle of the Roses On September 1948, Teresita Castillo, then 21 years old, shook the foundations of the Catholic Church nationwide when she detailed various apparitions that she witnessed. She saw a beautiful lady on a cloud identified as Lady Mediatrix of Grace, which initially appeared while the young nun was praying at the convent garden. Complete with rosary beads and dressed in white cloth, the apparition appeared 15 times, leaving various flower petals enamored within the images of Jesus, Mary, and other biblical events. The Devil's Mountain The island of Luzon has Mount San Cristobal, a possibly active stratovolcano wrapped in Philippine stories. Known as the Devil's Mountain, it contrasts with Mount Banahao, the holy mountain on the same island. As per local beliefs, Mount Banahao gives off positive vibes, while Mount San Cristobal is thought to have negative energy. Why it's called Devil's Mountain is still a mystery. These different beliefs add to the puzzles around Mount Cristobal making scientists curious. If you know more about discoveries or mysteries, share them in the comments.